Hey guys, it's Sam again with another how-to video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a old-fashioned mouse trap. Uh, for this video, you're going to need to be prepared. So, um, if you want to follow, make it with me. Follow along and make it with me. Then you're probably going to want to. Uh, I put it down in the description box, but you're probably going to want to, um, you know, pause the video after you learn everything you need. So the first thing you're going to need is a box. I'm using an Altoid box. It's just an empty box. I don't really need necessarily need anything. Uh, you're also going to need two toothpicks, some chain or rope. It needs to be about five to six inches. Sorry, something bit me. Um, a piece of cheese or a cotton round. I've already have some torn up, so I'll just use that. Um, and then your mice. I'm not letting a real mice into my house. Uh, I don't want. I don't want my parents to kill me, so I'm going to use this blue piece of plastic. What you're gonna do? This is your setup. All you need to do is set up. Is uh, mine are in little packages, but uh, okay. There's the old ones that I've already used. Tried this once, but uh, you're gonna open your Altoid box and you're gonna put your toothpick right there, like that. Make sure it stays, and then put the chain around it or your rope tied around it, and then set it up again, like so. Then you're gonna place your cheese pieces inside, put about three big size pieces. And then you're gonna take your other. This is where you use your other toothpick and your piece of plastic. You're gonna take your toothpick and you're going to put him in. Sorry, my shorts got pulled down. There we go. You're gonna put the toothpick inside the plastic like this to represent that. You're not gonna need this when you really do it, but I'm just using it for that today. You're gonna want to put him inside. Ooh, look, there are his cheese. And I don't, uh, you're supposed to, if you're using a chain or a rope, you're probably gonna want to chain it down, tie some tie it down somehow. But if not, you know, pull it over to the side like so. And hold oh, on, let me do that. You're gonna want to. You don't. You can pull it straight, but if you want to pull it straight, you're gonna have to tie down your box. It's just easiest if you just pull it to the side and it snaps down on Mr. Mousey. Just let him stay in there long enough to, you know, either if you want it, if you don't want him alive when he comes out of the box, let him stay in there long enough to strangle, or you can put poison in it, some, something in there. But um, and if your mouse isn't small, like like the mouse I had a couple of days ago, I used this and it really worked. Uh, you get a bigger box. You gotta put your cheese in it. Maybe one big slice of cheese. And then for this, if you have a bigger box like I do, he has big. Mine has big sides on it, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, you're gonna need Mr. Mouse, but you're also going to need string. This time, it's probably gonna help to have string, but since I don't have any string, uh, yeah, dental floss works too. You can just uh, wait till the rat gets in there, kind of hold it out straight, you know, up like this, and then when the mouse gets in there, pull it, the lid closes, snaps on him. It's probably going to help if you don't wait until he gets all the way inside the box, like this. Wait till he's kind of like halfway in, halfway out, so it snaps down on part of him. And it's probably going to kill him if you want him dead. But if you don't want him dead, wait till he gets all the way inside. Okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, um, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I guess, I guess that's it. Oh, yeah, no, um, <laughs> forgot. Uh, if you want to see uh, another how-to video make sure you p uh, post it in the comments 
under uh make sure when you put it in there you po uh you do it hashtag how to okay guys uh, i guess i'll see you next time